Hey guys, what's up? Shin0525, back with another head draw video. Um, yep, as you can tell from the title and the picture right here, it's on Super Saiyan uh, Goten or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goten. Um, really the only difference, if you were going to make him Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan God, would be uh, the hair color. So, Super Saiyan God would be blue, uh, and just Super Saiyan would be the normal yellow, gold... Um, hair color. So yeah, that's the only difference. And since I don't color these pictures in, um, it, it's basically it's either one or two. So yeah, I haven't. This is the first Dragon Ball Z character I'm drawing, so I'm pretty excited about that. And um, this was requested by Cynthia Millage. Thank you for your request. And yeah, that's about it. So guys, uh, get your pencils ready, and we'll start drawing Goten. So yeah, or no, Go Tanks. Go. No, it's Goten. It's Goten, and when he fuses with Trunks, it's Gotenks. There we go. I know my Dragon Ball Z, guys. So anyway, let's get our pencils ready and start drawing. Okay, guys, let's get started. Uh, to draw Goten, uh, we're going to start off with a gesture first. So we're going to just do um, just a circle for his head, you know, like that. Again, it doesn't have to be too big. That's a good size. And then we're going to draw the gesture for his body, which will go down. And then his arms go like this. And his legs can go the same way. You're not really supposed to put the um, shoulder, like the shoulders, the same way with the hips. They usually go in opposite directions of one another. But since Goten is flying in this kind of picture, it, it makes sense. So normally, if you would do the um, shoulders this way, you would do the hips in this direction. But for this one, we're going to keep it them going parallel. So after you do that, we can draw his foot. This foot will go straight down like this. And again, Goten's super short, so um, you have to draw it really long. Um, this will be where his uh, ankle is. That will be his foot. goes straight down. This leg goes off in this direction and turns this way. And his foot will go straight down like this. Um, this arm just kind of goes straight up, and then it'll stop about here, and then this arm will just go here and here, like that, and now just to get a little volume, um, this will be his, like, chest, and then this will be, like, his abs area, stomach, and then this will be, well since this leg's in front, let's draw, draw like this. This will be one of his legs. And again, he wears like, like uh, Goku, Gohan, Goten. They all wear like these really big, poofy, like sweatpants type of deal. Um, for their like training clothes, so um, yeah. So I'll just draw that in the kind of like the gesture. And then we could gesture in his hand, which would just be just kind of like this. And his arm. And that's pr that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, well, you could gesture in this fist, which it'll just be kind of like this square. And then you kind of make it into like a 3D box like that. And then you just put a little circle for the thumb. And might as well just draw the shoes in. Just little triangles for the shoes. Alright, so now that we got the gesture down, let's uh, start going into detail. Um, there we go. I think what's, a, what's um, easy about drawing Dragon Ball Z characters is they're drawn very angu angularly. So they do. They, there's a lot of straight lines, so... It's kind of easier to draw them than some other characters. So, for example, we're going to do the crosshairs for the face. But, um, but to get, like, his skull shape, you basically just draw a straight line going down like this. And then you just go in and kind of make, like, a triangle right here. Kind of like that. And it will go up. Again, his arm's going to kind of cover it a little bit. So, um... We can get about here and then just draw a line going straight up. 
And that, that's basically like the basis for the face. And once you got that down, you could draw in his eyes. Or actually, I like drawing in his mouth. Um, his mouth, you just kind of do this curved line like this, about here. And then you just kind of round it down. And then make another curved line that's parallel to this one. And then a line going down, like that. And then for the teeth, you just draw a line going in the opposite curve. So this line curves downwards. This line will curve upwards a little bit. And then just leave it in the middle. And then near the edges, just round it off like here and here. So this line passes these little curves. So it looks like you can see like his front of his teeth and then goes to the back of it. And then here you just kind of draw like a line following... Um, the bottom curve you made, and then you just draw two little lumps for the tongue, like that. And then you could shade in in the back of his mouth where it would all be black. There you go, very simple. Um, you could draw a little kind of like a tiny little curve like this for a nose. It's kind of like um, I guess it kind of looks like a check mark if you draw it this way, like a check type of shape and then for his eyes I just draw the eyebrows first which just big like a curve line and they just kinda make it into like this long triangle type shape uh, same thing over here just a long kinda triangle like that and then for the eyes you just kinda make like a like a rounded square on the bottom Same thing over here, kind of just, and again, it, it like um, the way Dragon Ball Z is drawn, um, it's very angular. So again, you're using a lot of like straighter lines for a lot of this stuff. And then you can just draw a big circle for the eye. You actually don't have to do anything with it because when they go Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan God, it just turns into a solid color. So again, just do a nice big circle right in there like that. And now to get like to make him really look like Goten, we're gonna start drawing in the hair, which the hair is kind of easy. Um, he has three big main spikes, um, and they start like right above this eye. So about here, you can just draw like this big kind of spike like this. And again, keep it angular. Like you can round off like the top here. But like when you go down, uh, keep it angular so it goes down kind of really sharp. Like that. And then another one here. Like that. You can erase some of these guidelines because they will screw you up if you leave them. And again, hit. Now that I'm looking at it, his face is kind of off. So, again, just simply kind of redraw it in. Like that. And again, it's like that. That's the whole point in, like, you know, drawing the gesture first. It's like you get to see kind of what it looks like beforehand. And then for his ear, it's just a simple, like, kind of half circle right here. And then another curve. And again, the hair is kind of blocking it, so you can't really see it all that well. And then for the rest of the hair, um, actually, now that I'm looking at it, the spikes are kind of big. So, I know it's even big for like Super Saiyan standards. So, I'm just going to shrink these down a little bit. There we go. And then for like his um like main hair, like after you get the bangs down, um it's kind of just like these big just kind of spiky spiky shapes. And again, you can kind of keep them angular. Um it helps. Um Yeah, just kind of like follow like there's no I don't think there's any set way of doing it like oh man Sonic has like three spikes on his head here here and here um 
it just kind of like you just kind of make it big just kind of blows out a little bit um, uh, and again it's just like um, a bit a big help is if you actually have a picture that you're looking at of like Goku or Goten or um, Uh, whoever, when you're drawing this, just to get their hair right. Because the hair is a big part of what the characters look like. Because they all kind of have similar faces, you know. They, there are subtle changes in them, but they're very, very similar. It's really the hair that makes them stick out, you know. So again, you just kind of just just make these big, kind of like beehive esque hair of spikes that just goes out. Like that. And now that I look at his head, his whole body's going to have to change, but that's okay. We'll draw through it. Again, the gesture is just a quick, um, just like a quick, like, oh, just kind of look where everything goes, but, uh, we're actually not going to follow it all too much right here. So, he has a little neck that goes like this. So, a nice little curve line there. And then... We're actually going to draw his sleeve over here because it's going to connect into this little curve for the neck. So his sleeve about here, I just kind of start out and just do a jagged line. Um, very similar to how I draw other type of clothing, just jagged line. And then it's going to go down to like this V-neck type shape. And then up and around here. And then he'll have like another little like kind of V-neck shirt right here. Uh, this one will be a little bit more rounded like that. And then you can draw little lines here for his like ab or not abs, uh, his like chest muscles. And then here, uh, just kind of make it again. Dragon Ball Z is drawn very angularly, especially in the clothes. So when you draw the clothes, just kind of draw them like folded out, and like there's a lot of straight edges on them. So like here, this will curve in just to kind of show like his arm. Kind of going behind there. Then you can kind of draw on his belt. That goes up like this. And Goten wears his belt to the side. Like he ties it on the, this side. So to do that, I just draw a circle. And then another little curve line here. Like in the middle. Like that. And then just two strands going off. Very simple, and then it's like you draw a line, a curve line like this. Then you go make like a little triangle, and then just kind of follow where you put it in the first place. And then this one will go down and around. Like that. Okay, and then I put a little um, kind of like detail lines right here and here, just to show like the shirt's all baggy and like foldy. Because they wear very loose, like, training clothes all the time. So after you get that down, uh, we're going to put, like, his first sleeve. He wears, like, a short sleeve um, shirt over, like, a long sleeve. So this will be the short sleeve. Kind of just draw, like, this kind of oval type shape. And then around, again, keep it very jagged. Um, line to make the sleeve, like this. And then here, it would just kind of follow, go in a little bit, curve up to where, like, the armpit would be, like that. And then just kind of curve into the belt over here. And you can draw another little detail line showing, like, the shirt's tucked into the belt, kind of like that. And then for this sleeve, again, it's almost identical to this one. Uh, here, we're going to do kind of the oval type shape. And then you just kind of make like jagged lines. Um, but this one's going to curve inwards like this because that's where his like um, elbow would be. And then kind of the same thing over here. Just, except this one's going to curve down. Kind of like that. Put a little, another little detail line in like this. 
Okay, and now for his fist, um, his fist is actually pretty simple to draw. Um, you're going to want to start out with the thumb. So the thumb goes up and around like this. So it goes up and then curves in like that. And then just goes kind of just um, kind of like a half circle, like if you're drawing in like a full circle, just kind of like a half circle shape. And then into the palm like this. So it's that like thick, um, muscly part um, of your hand. And then each finger can actually just be this kind of, um, kind of like roundish shape like this. Um, it's kind of like a rectangle, but a lot like just really rounded edges like that. And then I'll just curve in and down like this. And then you can do little detail lines, um, just to show like the fingers curve in and under. Um, like that. Very simple, not too hard, uh, kind of a basic hand. And speaking, uh, well, we'll do the hand after we do the pants. So, for the pants, again, very similar to, like the shirt, just, um, here's where like a big, like, crease would be, um, and then again, it just kind of goes down. Um, the pants for Dragon Ball Z, especially for like Goku and all those people and Goten, um, they kind of have like this um, kind of V in them, and a lot of the folds follow that V. So they just kind of go down like this. And again, they 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 keep a lot to this kind of V shape. Like that. And then you can draw another line here where the belt, again, like all the stuff is tucked into the belt. So you could just draw a little curve line showing that. And then we'll just finish off this leg real quick. Um, he wears like, um, kind of like a foot ankle um, band here. So just to draw that, you just draw like this curve line like this. Another curve line, kind of similar to like how Sonic's gloves are. Like where his uh, foot cuff is. Kind of like that shape. And then for the foot, it's just like this simple kind of triangle. And then you just kind of draw a rectangle here. And then curve it. And then there. So that's, that's pretty much the foot. Very simple. He wears like those martial art um, shoes. So they're very simple. There's really not much to them. And then here. Um, again, you kind of still adhere to that V shape. Um, but since it's kind of, it's not directly at us, it'll kind of curve like this. And then up. And draw like two creases here. And it goes around. Like that. And then this foot will just kind of come out over here like this. Draw a little foot warmer there, and then it, it's kind of more on the side. So we're gonna we're not gonna we're gonna start here, go down, and then angle it up. So you're kind of looking at it at a side view, and then to finish the picture off, we could um, finish off this hand. So to draw this hand, you just kind of draw a line going, following the kind of box you made here. Um, just up and down and then here would go up and down up and down and then the last one will go up and down but then you can kinda draw a little curve here just to show like the pinky curling in and then around each finger you could just kinda draw a knuckle as you go down like that oh that was not on camera I will redraw that guys I'm sorry about that um, again, we start off with like this shape, and then you just kind of go up and then down like this, then up and down, up, down, and then up and down like that, 
And then around here, you just kind of draw a little curve shape, like for the little knuckles. And another little curve here to show the fingers rounded off. Like that. And then the thumb is just kind of this big oval that comes around here. And then we're about done. The only thing really left to do is when they're in Super Saiyan, they kind of have like these lines in their hair. So again, you just kind of draw like lines following the different kind of angles. So it, it usually comes out at the tips of the spikes. So like here, they'll have them. Actually, I could erase this eye because this makes the picture look a lot off, really off. And again, just like at the tips, it's like just draw like one, two, or three lines going down. Like that. And there you have it. There's your Super Saiyan Goten. Um, yeah. Wow, that took about 20 minutes. Thought that'd be a little bit. This would be a little shorter video, but again, thing came out good. Um, that's how you draw a Super Saiyan Goten. Or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goten. Again, just the colors. Um, you just draw blue hair for Super Saiyan God, and then just yellow hair for Super Saiyan. Other than that, they look exactly the same. And then, um, Here's a like a more finished inked version of the picture. Um, this is what it looked like again if you like inked it out and like kind of erased the guidelines and all that stuff. So um, yeah, oh you guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoy Goten now. Um, Goten's pretty cool. He does not have a lot of screen time in Dragon Ball Z, but uh, yeah, he's still he's still pretty cool. One of the youngest Super Saiyans. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you again to Cynthia Millage for the, your request. Um, I know you requested a lot more Dragon Ball Z characters, so I will get on that. Um, and other than that, guys, I'll see you next Saturday, uh, for, or next Saturday or Sunday for the next How to Draw video. Um, and if you have any comments, questions, concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will try to answer you the best way I can. If you have any requests, again, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Um, you can follow me on DeviantArt, which I will leave the link in the description below this time. Uh, I actually, actually started a Twitter too, I'll put that in. Um, and if you want more How to Draw videos, I have a whole bunch on my channel on the playlist on How to Draw. So you can check those out too. Um, other than that guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoy Goten now. Uh, thank you very much for watching, I'll stop rambling on and actually end it. Um, so, have a good day, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Bye-bye.